Today's video is presented to you by the EA Creator Network. Special thanks to EA for letting me get early access to Madden 23 to capture this video footage for you today. If you want more exclusive Madden 23 content, be sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss an upload. What's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to go over how to complete sets in mutt 23 there was a big change to how you do so and we're going to help you get it figured out now if you guys enjoyed this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here because you were searching around youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to get free cards how to get free packs how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get on into it now the first thing we need to mention is that everything that you see in this video and all early capture videos it's a work in progress so things could change things might look different once the retail game comes out and you're playing it yourself so just keep that in mind let's talk about how to get two sets now it's similar to last year right you go over to the my team section and go down to sets but when you go into this menu it looks very different it almost looks like the auction house used to look like and it's designed that way don't worry if it looks confusing we're going to help you we're going to show you how to get sets done we're going to show you everything that everything means on your screen but i do want to show you another really cool feature of mutt 23 is we are on item sets right now if we hit the l1 button or left bumper on xbox it actually takes us over to our binder directly from the sets item if we hit r1 we're going to go right back to sets and if we hit r1 again we're now in the auction house. Just see how it easy it is to toggle between menus. A lot less button pressing is gonna take place this year, whether you're trying to get stuff out of your binder to do sets, to go to the auction house. I absolutely love it. And also when you're in the set section, you can actually do filter. So if there's a specific set you're looking for, in this case, we only have headliners out there. When the game launches, there'll probably be other options or when more content comes out, there will be for sure. But if you were looking for power-up sets or rookie premiere sets, this is all hypothetical, you could filter to those. Now, we only got headliners in the game, so that's what we're going to do. But another really cool feature is we are filtered at headliners under sets. If I were to go to the auction house, it keeps that same filter. Now it's only showing, again, it's an early capture. There's no cards on the auction house, but it would be only showing headliners cards on the auction house. And then the same thing when we go to my items, my binder. These are all of the headliner cards that I have in my possession. Now we will get to completing a set in a moment here, but I just wanna show you one other shortcut. It works the same way. If you go into your binder, that's where it will bring you. But if you hit R1 or right bumper on Xbox, then it brings you right back over to the set. So multiple ways to get to and from everywhere between the auction house sets and your binder in the game. So let's go ahead and complete some sets. Let's talk about everything that you see on your screen. Number one, let's draw your attention to the bottom left part of the screen. You see this kind of legend that has a bunch of symbols and what those symbols mean. The first one is an exclamation point. That means that it contains items in multiple sets. So the easiest way that I can explain it to you here is if you look at the 86 overall Carson Wentz Headliners Heroes card, it requires a bunch of 82 overall Headliners cards, some 79, 78, and 79 overalls. And those same items are in multiple sets, meaning if you wanted to do the Quitty Pay set, boom, there it is again. We have an Eric Stokes in our possession. That particular item can go in to multiple sets that's what the exclamation point exclamation point means same thing for the 82 overalls here the lower golds you can see with this promo uh number two repeatable so the repeatable symbol just simply means what it says you can repeat this set over and over and over again there's no limit we will probably see sets later on that don't are you know do have a limit and are not repeatable and that symbol would not be there i don't know if there would be a number there instead and i could definitely see you know things getting added to this legend uh time sensitive is the little clock symbol none of those you know none of these sets have the clock symbol on there we will definitely see those at some point so just keep that in mind and then finally the you know like kind of backwards reverse arrow uh, items returned upon completion so this is probably going to be for most of the champion sets, and we see that with the Legera Sneed and the Joe Mixon. That means if you complete this Legera Sneed set, 
which requires five 86 overall headliners cards, you're gonna get all five of those back. So that's what it means. We'll see that a lot throughout the different promos this year. The object in this new layout for item sets is simply to minimize the number of times we have to press buttons on the controller. And I think one really cool feature right here at face value is if you scroll through these, you can see the number of cards that you have that are required for that set. So for this 86 overall Quiddy Pay, we have one out of 13. Now that same one card, that's why we have the exclamation point, is you know possible to go into all of these champion, I'm sorry, hero sets. And then if we scroll down, same thing with the 82s, we have four of 12, exclamation point is because we have this, you know, those four items that can go into any one of these sets. Now, if you go to the gold plus headliners set, uh, we can actually get the set done right now. You see the square button, it says redeem. If I really wanted to, and I'm going to do it all different types of ways because you can do the old school way and you can do the new school way, which is this way. If I simply, simply hit square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, it brings me to this screen where I'm one more button away from getting the entire set done. This thing requires 10 different cards. I'm going to get it done in basically three button presses. But you want to pay attention to what's on the right first because this is showing you all of the cards that you're about to put into this set. You need to be very, very careful, especially early on, that you don't accidentally put something in there that you didn't want to. You can use your right analog stick and scroll through those cards there. If you hit R1 or right bumper on Xbox, it'll tell you if these cards affect other sets. In this case, they don't because this is the only set out there that requires 70 and 72 overall golds. If there was another set that required the same things, that would show up on that screen. So I am ready to complete this set. And if you look on your left, you can either go down to cancel or up to redeem. We're gonna go ahead and redeem and boom, we got ourselves this headliners gold plus player pack. And right from this screen, I can go ahead and hit square. Again, work in progress, animations could change, but I like the animation here. We go ahead and get ourselves the card that was in that pack from the set that we just redeemed. Now also remember a moment ago, I showed you that we had four out of 12 required for these 82 overalls. It now says five because the card I just got from that set is added into our inventory and it factors it in right away. Another really cool thing before we do some more sets and show you some other ways is if you were interested in doing the Legera Sneed set or the Carson Wentz set or even one of these 82 overall cards, we'll use John Runyon for example, you can simply hit triangle on PlayStation, Y on Xbox, it shows you at the bottom left, view item. Viewing the item shows you the card that you're about to complete the set for, and it looks just like as if you own the card, but you can see preview above the card art on the right hand side. If you hit one R1 over to the right one time or right bumper on Xbox, you can see all of the attributes on the card. So you can kind of see the card that you're trying to complete the set for. When you're doing a set, a lot of you are probably already gonna know that card and what it can do. That's why you're doing the set, but it's still a nice little shortcut to get there and see what you wanna see for the card. Now, or if you are afraid that you're gonna put the wrong item into a set accidentally, like a card you're trying to hang on to, another really cool feature, and again, you can get right to it from this screen by hitting L1 and going over to your binder. You can essentially protect cards. So if I never wanted to put this Jalen Ramsey 88 overall into a set, but he also wasn't in my lineup, you can go down here and select favorite. It says restrict this item's use only within lineup. Essentially, it's telling you the only thing you can do with this card is put it in your lineup until you unfavorite it. So let's go ahead and do so. Now, if I scroll down, it gives me the option to unfavorite rather than favorite. So it's just pretty much kind of toggling that back and forth. The other thing is you can still do sets the old way. You're just kind of making yourself go through more work to do so. But if I go back over to the gold plus headliners set, you can add items individually. So I'm just pressing X on PlayStation, A on Xbox, and I can scroll through all of the 72 overall cards that I have, and I can put one of those into the set, and you can do it one by one. You can still hit triangle on PlayStation, Y on Xbox, and add multiple items. So if I want to add three 72 overalls, I can do that the same way we've done it before. We would mark the three items, then hit X, apply to set, and boom, they're going to put them in there. Now, if you are just halfway through the set or, you know, you know, like I got four cards collected out of total of 10, we can still hit the square button here to redeem set. And it's still going to bring us to that same screen. 
and it's another shortcut so if you have a couple cards added because you got those cards a while ago and you got the rest of the cards on another day you can finish out the set by hitting that square button to redeem and we're doing the same exact thing we did the first time but one more time you see now required six of 12 the number keeps going up as we add cards in there let's go to a set that would be incomplete and you can actually add everything to a set that you have. So you see the plus symbol on six of the cards on your screen. The other ones have the searching symbol, which would allow you to search the auction house for these cards. There's nothing gonna be on the auction house, so we're not gonna bother doing that. But if you have a set that's incomplete, but you do wanna add all of these cards, of course, you can just do the old school way and you know add a card. I'm not gonna do one in my lineup, but we can go add the set just like that, or we can hit square and do add all the set and look at all the check marks filling up here all of the cards that we have that are eligible and also not in our lineup went right into this set and when we get more 74 and 75 overall headliners cards we can come back and do the same thing to finish it out if you want to remove these items from a set you can hit the x button and do it individually just like you could in the past or we can use the triangle button on playstation y on xbox select them all and then hit remove and that's a batch remove where we can get all of them out of there at the same time so again there is a tremendous shortcut that's going to save a lot of time out of the menus just by doing add all and redeeming the prize or the reward for the set but if you don't feel comfortable or you're nervous you're going to put the wrong item in there you can always mark it as a favorite so you don't do so or you can still do it the old way and add items one by one one last feature that i'll show you before we get out of here and i believe this is brand new i don't remember it being in previous years is if you go into a set and we'll use carson wentz one more time as an example if you use your right analog stick and press it upwards it actually will go to the auction house for that set reward card now this would be the carson wentz card one more time, it's a work in progress. There's nothing on the auction house, so we're not going to be able to see that. But if you just wanted to simply see how much this Carson Wentz was going for on the auction house or whatever other set it, you know, card it is from the set before you go ahead and complete the set, you might want to see if it's cheaper to buy the card outright rather than do the set. A very, very quick shortcut. Again, just flick your analog stick up to the right or, or uh, the right analog stick up once and it brings you right back over to the auction house. You can back out, get right over to the set. And I think that's pretty much it. There's a lot of different ways to get there and get it complete, but I think it's a lot faster now if you do it the new way. And I don't think you really have to worry about putting the wrong items in the set as long as you're paying attention or marking the cards that are not in your lineup favorite, the ones that you don't want to get rid of via sets. If you got any questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.